In this video, I want to show you what is considered to be the most famous programming book in the entire world. It is called the C Programming Language, and it was written by Brian Kernighan and Dennis Ritchie. Kernighan and Ritchie worked at Bell Labs. Ritchie developed C in the early 70s, and Kernighan wrote the first C tutorial. Kernighan convinced Ritchie to co-author a book on the C Programming Language, and this is the result. Kernighan actually wrote most of the expository material, and Ritchie wrote the appendix, which is a reference on the C programming language. This book is a soft cover, but it's fairly well made, and I've had it for several years. This is actually one of the books that I use to learn C. Many people all over the world have used this book to learn C, and I think this book brings back a lot of memories for a lot of people. It certainly brings back memories for me. Because this book is so famous, many people have spent hours reading this book and trying to understand the programs that are given in this book. And it's a great book for learning, but it's pretty tough. There are easier books out there that you can use to learn. So I initially bought this book when I started to learn C, and I also used a very famous website, which I'll link to in the description. It's called uh, Steve Summit's FAQ. It's basically a Usenet FAQ, and it has tons of information on the C programming language. Really, really old school. It was written, I believe, in the 90s, and there's actually a book you can buy that contains the entire FAQ, and I'll leave a link in the description to that, as well as this book here. I also use this to learn C. This is basically an easier version of this. Look at the, the difference in thickness, right? This book is much thicker than this one, and that's because this book explains more, and it's more for beginners. I read this entire book, and I did almost every single exercise from this book, in order to learn how to code in C. So nevertheless, this is still a classic and still the most famous programming book in the entire world because it was written by the person who created the C programming language, Dennis Ritchie, and the person who wrote the first C programming tutorial, Brian Kernighan. Again, both of these people worked at AT&T's Bell Labs. The C programming language, Brian Kernighan, Dennis Ritchie, Bell Laboratories, Murray Hill, New Jersey. Let's just go through the contents and then we'll take a look inside the book. It starts off with an introduction and then a tutorial introduction, types, operators, and expressions, control flow, things like if statements, functions and program structure, Pointers and arrays, it's always a sticking point for people who are learning to program in C. Structures, input and output, the Unix system interface, and then here we have the C reference manual. The preface talks a little bit about the C programming language, and I want to point this out here. This book is not an introductory programming manual. It assumes some familiarity with basic programming concepts like variables, assignment statements, loops and functions. So this book is not for people who are just brand new to programming. If you're new to programming, there are other choices that you can take besides this book. Personally, I think it's always worth having this book because this is a classic and then you can get other books to help supplement your learning. Here it talks about the legendary Hello World program. Print the words Hello World. This is the basic hurdle. To leap over it, you have to be able to create the program text somewhere, compile it successfully, load it, run it, and find out where your output went. With these mechanical details mastered, everything else is comparatively easy. And that's a really motivating statement, I think, for people who are trying to learn C. You know, because getting started and getting that first program working is a hurdle. You have to install a compiler, you have to type your code, and you have to find out you know, where it went. Nowadays, we have IDEs, which basically do all of this for you. You can type your text into the IDE, you hit a button, it compiles, it runs, and you can see the output. So it makes things a lot easier. The book has plenty of examples of actual code, which is really useful. When you're learning to program, what you want to do is basically try to write programs. You want to just jump in and start typing stuff and hope it works. And if it doesn't work, you want to figure out what you did wrong so that you can get it to work. And that's the best way to code. And this book has plenty of snippets of code that you can use to test out when you're learning C programming. Chapter five is on pointers and arrays. And this is probably the hardest thing for people to learn when they're first learning C. You know, you can get your programs running, 
you can learn about functions and you can get pretty far. But once you get to pointers, I feel like a lot of people get stuck. I remember not understanding pointers for a very, very long time. A pointer is a variable that contains the address of another variable. That's all it is. Pointers are very much used in C, partly because they are sometimes the only way to express a computation, and partly because they usually lead to more compact and efficient code that can be obtained in other ways. So there are sticking points when learning anything, just like mathematics. There's certain topics that are just harder, and there are certain topics that are harder for certain people. But in any case, I think it's a beautiful language, and I think this is a legendary book. This is actually the first edition of the book. So what is the best way to learn C programming today? And if I'm going to be completely honest, the answer is I don't know. Again, when I learned C, I used this really old school book, which is an absolute classic. I used Steve Summit's FAQ, which is online and free. And I'll link to that again, an absolute classic. And I use this book here, which I'm not sure if it's still in print. I'll try to find it, which is very, very easy. This book is super easy to read compared to this one. But yeah, I just wanted to show you this book because it brings back a lot of memories. It brings back memories of a time when, you know, I wasn't even in college. I was just some dude and I thought C was cool and I bought this book and I thought Steve Summit's website was the best and I learned C and I thought it was the best thing ever. And many of you had similar experiences. And so if you had an experience like that, if you learn C on your own, if you use this book to learn C, leave a comment here in this video. I wanna know your story. How did you learn to program? Why did you learn to program? And what books did you use to program with? Also remember when you leave a comment, it can help other people. There's plenty of people out there that are trying to learn to code. So if you have advice for books that are better than this one or websites or videos or courses they can take that will help them learn C, please leave a comment in the description. Remember people read the comments and when you leave constructive comments, it helps other people. Anyways, that's it. Just wanted to show you this legendary book. Um, very, very thin book, not an easy read. And you know, the book is correct. The hardest thing is getting started. Oh, I just got to give it a whiff here. Ah, oh, yeah, smells so good. But yeah, the hardest thing is really getting started with it and just learning how to get that, that first program, you know, compiled correctly and, and running correctly. And that's a great feeling. One of the things today too, is that there's more languages besides C, right? So C isn't the only language you can learn. And I'm honestly not even sure how popular C is today because I don't really know, right? Many, many people learn Java, many people learn Python. Those seem to be a lot more popular uh, than C programming. But for me, C was the very, very first language that I ever, ever learned. And I was able to learn it uh, again with zero experience uh, with no college education, um, yeah, zero. So if I can do it, you can do it. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there. Until next time, good luck and take care.